Good afternoon. Uh, today we start our Nevado Talk sessions. Today we have the honor to be in Lexburg office with our uh, lawyer well known in Marbella, Mr. Jose Luis Tejuca. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Ginez. Good Thank afternoon. You. Thank you for letting us have some time of your precious time. And uh, well, uh, we are, uh, as I said, in his office in Ricardo Soriano. He has a long experience and uh, always involved with all type of issues involved in the real estate market. We have one of the most uh, request subjects uh, lately, which is the popular golden visa. So um, if you let me start, we could start with the first question, which is mm -hmm. what is the golden visa exactly? Yeah, well, the golden visa is a very special kind of uh, residence permit in Spain, which is basically destined to those uh, uh, citizens, residents out of the European Union who wants to become residents in Spain by means of uh, a uh, substantial investment in the Spanish economy. That's basically what it is. And uh, well, it's uh, commonly known as Golden Visa, but the proper name of that kind of permit is Residence permit for investors. That's good for investors. For investors. Great, right. great. Right. Um, uh, the question will be: Does the golden visa include to all my family? Yes. Well, basically, golden visa includes not only the applicant, but also his uh, wife or husband, and also the children under eighteen years old. There are another exceptions that. Uh, we could uh, work on that, but basically are those kind of, uh, of uh, relatives who are included in that. Mm -hmm. Good. And um, once I get the golden visa, am I allowed to, let's say, travel, fly uh, all around the Schengen area? Mm -hmm. You can travel uh, through all the Schengen area with no restrictions at all. It's like if you become a, a European citizen, so mm -hmm. you can uh, move all around Europe without restrictions. That's right. Great. Great to know. Am I obliged to uh, live in Spain to maintain the golden visa permanently? No. Or are there any... any... Yeah, that's, that's a very, very uh, good question because uh, one of the main benefits that the golden visa gives to, uh, to, to, the, to the applicants and his family is that uh, uh, they don't need to be in Spain more than coming once a year. That's all. It's a big difference because with any other kind of residence permit, you need to live in Spain at least six months a year, what could involve also some uh, tax problems, of course. Good. Uh, Jose Luis, um, have you uh, feel since the Brexit that the, there has been a, an increase of the uh, demand from different nationalities to get the golden visa? Um, no. How have you feel it? That's a good question, Ginez. It is true that before Brexit, most of people applying uh, to golden visas were from different countries, not from UK because UK was part of the European Union, but uh, from uh, Middle East countries, Oriental countries, or countries from the east of Europe, basically, right? Mm -hmm. After Brexit, of course, uh, most of uh, UK citizens who did not uh, have any control for coming into Spain for years. Now they found that they have to be submitted to the rule of 90 days per every 180 days. So for people who had a house in Spain, it was a big problem. So they could not uh, enjoy all time that they needed in Spain. That's why it has uh, been a large number of uh, clients applying for golden visa. That's mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Great. Um, how long does it take normally to get a golden visa? Uh, it's a it's, it's very, very short period of time. Uh, you know, you have to think that any other residence permit, they, it takes uh, um, about three months or maybe more uh, to get the, the residence. And obviously in case that you can fill all the requirements. But golden visa is uh, maximum one month. Oh, that's good. And usually, for my experience, I can tell you that uh, in about one week, since we have all the paperwork ready to be submitted, 
we can get the golden visa. We get the initial uh, resolution of golden visa that is enough for the client to come in and out uh, for the mm -hmm. Schengen area, mm -hmm. and then uh, they have to apply for the proper card, which takes a little bit more. Uh, but uh, I mean, uh, basically, uh, not more than one month, you have the, the, the document that you can come in and out to Spain whenever you want. Can you please explain us which are the main requirements to obtain a golden visa through buying a property in Spain? Well, the main one is to make an investment in Spain in real estate properties mm -hmm. for at least 500,000 euros. That's, the main, That's the main one. Of course, there are other requirements involved uh, in the application of the golden visa, like uh, proof of uh, enough economic researches for living in Spain without being a charge for the Spanish government. Uh, also to have an uh, insurance, health insurance uh, to cover any kind of uh, health problems you may have in Spain. And also to uh, have a clean criminal records report. Mm -hmm. And uh, basically this is, this is all, these are the main uh, requirements. Sounds simple, simple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's not I guess it's not as simple, but sounds yeah. easy. Mm -hmm. um, and if I need, for example, to get a loan, could I get a loan in, to buy that property with that sure. uh, final intention of the, sure. getting the, the golden visa? Sure, but uh, you always have to, uh, to, to invest from your own money, I mean, from your uh, own uh, uh, researchers, mm -hmm. 500,000 euros. On top of that, if you want to invest the rest through a mortgage loan, you can do it. So let's say that uh, someone wants to buy a property of uh, 1 million euro. Mm -hmm. He needs to put from his own money 500,000 yeah, euro. The rest, they can get it from a bank, okay. a mortgage loan or any other kind of financial. Perfect. And that's the, the, the figure of the 500 must be in one property or can be in two properties? It can be in, in two or more properties. And mm -hmm. At the end, yeah, the only requirement uh, in this uh, point is uh, that uh, the total amount of the investment is 500,000 mm -hmm. euro or more. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter if it's one, two, three or five properties. Okay, so it could be someone that uh, buy three apartments of one bedroom is if he find in that sort of figures that the can reach the 500. Absolutely. Yeah. It doesn't matter if it's an apartment or if you want to buy parking spaces or you want to buy uh, locals. It doesn't matter the kind mm -hmm. of properties. It must be, only must be real estate properties. Perfect. And what happened if I have a property which I bought uh, some years ago, past time, and I want to get the Golden Visa through your, using that property? Is that yeah. possible? You are only entitled to apply for the Golden Visa if you bought your property after October 2013. Mm -hmm. The reason is because the, the, the law that uh, uh, made this uh, Golden Visa uh, started running after October. So any properties uh, purchased before that time will not be uh, sufficient for, buy, for applying for the Golden Visa. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. Good to know as well. So if I get the golden visa, will I then immediately be a Spanish resident? Uh, if talk, talking about fiscal matters. No, no. That's another uh, good benefit that we can uh, find in the golden visa. Uh, any other uh, residence permit will mean that uh, the citizen must live in Spain for at least six months a year that means that they become tax resident in spain but with the golden visa as i said before you only need to come to spain once a year so as long as you don't spend more than six months a year in spain you will not become tax resident so mm -hmm. it's a good, good advantage too okay so uh, how and when can i ask for a golden visa and should I have or do I have to stay present in Spain mm -hmm. to uh, try to obtain it? There are two ways to apply for a golden visa. You can do it uh, in your own country. So you have to submit the corresponding application and documents to the Spanish consulate or embassy in your country of residence. Or you can apply here in Spain. 
uh, to 10, you only need to be here and uh, give power of attorney to your lawyer who will uh, make the process and obviously this second, uh, this second uh, kind of application will be much uh, easier for you than if you have to uh, to do it in your uh, in your country. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. Um, what, which is the life of the golden visa? For how long uh, does it has a time to that expire? Depending or? on uh, if you have applied for that in your country or if you have applied for that in Spain. If you did it in your country, you will get a proper visa, which will be uh, stamped in your passport, and that will. Uh, be valid for one year period. So after one year, the visa will expire and you will have to apply for the proper residence, which will be valid for another two years. And then after the expiration, it can be um, extended for periods of five years each one, right? Mm -hmm. With no limits. This is asking in your origin country. Can yes, that's right. Okay. In case that uh, you apply for that in Spain, then automatically you will have the residence permit for two years instead of one year, as I said before, that is when you apply in your country. So after these two first years, then the extensions will be for periods of five years each one. Well, so clearly right. it's much better to use a, a law firm mm -hmm. as Lex Bureau <laughs> and you personally clearly mm -hmm. to, to be more relaxed in time. No, no, that's really, it. Yeah, that's yeah. it. That's for good. that reason, and as I said before, also because uh, it's uh, I mean, uh, a bit uh, embarrassing uh, to uh, to do it yourself in uh, in the Spanish consulate outside. Also, there is a point I didn't mention, but uh, uh, you will save some money doing it in Spain because the taxes you will have to pay for the application in the consulate uh, is significantly uh, higher than uh, what you pay here in oh, Spain, really? which is, uh, well, so I mean, uh, there is a difference of around 2,000 euros or 1,700 uh, sterling pounds in case you do it in the UK. Wow. Can you repeat it again? The, the... Yeah. I mean that the, if you apply for the golden visa in your country mm -hmm. of residence, then you will have to pay about two thousand euro more, roughly, yeah, yeah, than more if than you, what you pay apply here. here you apply here, yes, exactly. It's just well, yes, well, the, the taxes. The taxes another another reason mm -hmm. to come to Marbella to apply for a golden visa. <laughs> well, with, with that answer, I think that any people that could be thinking about uh, investing money to be able to apply for a golden visa, you have the. Um, you have the the right uh, lawyers firm here in Marbella. Uh, of course, you have uh, the real estate to be able to help you to find the property to invest that money. And I only have to say, Mr. Jose Luis, it has been really a pleasure to have you as the first interviewer with our Nevado Talks. And I hope that this information may help to those hundreds or thousands of people that they are thinking around of should I invest and supply for a golden visa. So thank you very much. It's really a pleasure again. Thanks to you, Tines. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Take care.